Welcome to the clinic in Park in Zurich. Today I'm speaking with a patient of mine on whom we did a thoracoscopic ablation and left atrial appendage clipping procedure last week on Friday. So, how are you feeling today? Not too bad, thank you. A little bit chesty, but otherwise okay. So you came to the hospital healthy and you're leaving with a cold? <laughs> I blame my wife for that because my wife came with me for the week and I got, I got the cold off my wife. Okay, so tell us. How come you came to Zurich? I found out in 2005 I had atrial fibrillation, mm -hmm. which is a shock because I was only 42 at the time after a routine doctor's appointment. And then really for 13 years I kind of forgot about it and it didn't trouble me. And then last year I went to the doctors again and they told me it got worse and they sent me for an echocardiogram and it showed my heart was damaged and I started on a course of medication. Mm -hmm. The problem with me is medication, particularly blood thinners, aspirin, don't agree with me, causing me stomach bleeding and all sorts of other problems. So I looked for other alternatives to block my append left atrial appendage, which I was told was a major source of strokes due to my condition. Mm. Um, so you were looking for someone to do the procedure in the UK? Yes, um, in the UK it was very difficult because on the NHS, because of I scored fairly low on the risk ratings, mm -hmm. I couldn't get it to the NHS. Um, but my mother sadly recently died of atrial fibrillation about six months ago from a massive stroke. And mm -hmm. that made me think, gosh, I ought to do something about this. Um, I tried blood thinners for six months but with no success. So I started looking into things like privately for blocking it through, I think mm -hmm. it's called the Watchman. Watchman and, and the Amplots. Right. And I could have had that operation paying for it privately, but I found that I would still need to take aspirin and blood thinners for three or six months afterwards. No. And if it went wrong, I might have to take blood thinners for a lot longer than that. Yeah. So I was looking for something which blocked the appendage, but didn't have to take blood thinning medication. So that's why we did a thoracoscopic uh, left atrial appendage clip, an atrial clip. Yeah. And in addition to doing the clip, um, I also convinced you to do an ablation procedure as we were already there. Yeah. So we were very fortunate. We were able to rid you of the atrial fibrillation for now. I think it's a, it's a very good, uh, everything went very well. And in the echocardiography, your cardiac function is nearly back to normal. So I think uh, we did the right thing in controlling uh, your rhythm. So the procedure was on Friday. Did you have much pain? Only, only on the first night afterwards when the anaesthetic wore off. Yeah. It was hard to sleep because of the, yeah. you know, the punctures were in the sides. But yeah, I mean, I was flabbergasted because every time I spoke about ablation in the UK, three cardiologists said to me there was no point because it wasn't really going to work or the long-term success was yeah. futile after such a long period of time and then an enlarged heart. Those are the limitations of catheter ablation. Right. But the advantage of surgical ablation is we perform the ablation on the surface of the heart and we can use much more energy than the cardiologists do. Right. That's why the results of surgical ablation are much bigger, but it's a more invasive procedure. Right. So today we are Tuesday and you are leaving the hospital? Yes. Going to the hotel? Yes. And when are you flying back to the UK? Um, 12 o'clock lunchtime Thursday. Okay, so not even a week after the procedure, you're back on the plane flying home yes. to see your family and your dog. Absolutely, looking forward to that. Okay, all the best. Thank you, thank you very much.